Hi, it's Jason from Effective Dashboards and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to switch off the headers in our visualizations. So these header buttons here, I'm going to show you how to switch those off. Okay, so let's get started. So you may already know this, but I, it never really kind of clicked to me and I was, I was putting a video together really looking at the card visualization and some of the configuration options for there. And if I just select one of these, I came across this visual header at the bottom and you can see here that it's got um, it's got the, the, the icon there that shows you the filters that are applied and it's got this icon here which is basically mode options. And I thought actually we don't really need this for these ones here. So I want to switch it off. So I use this option here to switch it off but nothing happened. Okay, nothing happened. So I also did it for the slicer and so if I select this slicer here, and it's got an extra few buttons here. It's got this one here to to, um, to enable focus mode. And I did the same thing here, and still nothing happened. I switched it off and nothing happened. However, it's one of these options that you only see enabled once you publish it to the Power BI service. And I just completely forgot that that, um, that actually happened. There's another one as well, which we'll, um, which we'll cover. And it's this one here. So... If I click on, I'm working with this dashboard, and say I click on here, now I've got a coloured background here. Now if we go to general, and, and when you're in the Power BI service or here, it pulls it right in front of of the actual, um, of the cards. And I've created a video explaining how this works, but it's worth just mentioning it here as well, because it's a similar sort of situation where you enable something in Power BI desktop, but you don't actually see it activated in Power BI Desktop, it's not until you publish it up to the service you see it activated and it's this maintain layer order. So if I just switch back to the the um, the service, I've published this this um this version of the dashboard to the Power BI service. So here we can see it's published there and if I click on here we can see it's pulling that to the front. Okay it's pulling it to the front and then if I hover above here we can see we can still see these these buttons here. Um, so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to change a few settings, then republish it and you'll see these being activated. Okay, so just really quickly, I'm going to go in and I'm going to select this background here. And I'm just going to make sure under the format section that it is sent to back. Okay, so we'll make sure that it's actually at the back. Right, okay, so it's just normal position. And we're going to go and select it and then go into general and we're going to switch this maintain layer order to on so that should make sure that it's always at the back um, so that's the first thing we're going to do now the other one here now this is the one i'm really the title of this video it's it's looking at these switching these off so i'm going to select this slicer and i'm going to go in here and i'm going to switch off this visual header in fact i've already switched it off here now you can switch off the whole header or you can just switch off certain fields so let's go for this one here, the matrix, and let's just say, I don't want to switch everything off. I just want to switch off, say, this focus mode here. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find focus mode. And I'm going to switch that off. Okay, so I want to leave focus mode and I want to switch off mode options. I want to still see this, um, this option here to see which filters are applied. So I've made those changes. I'm just going to publish this up to the Power BI service now. Okay, so we're back in the Power BI service, and this is the version of the the the, um, the the Power BI report which I published before. And we can see here when I hovered over here, I haven't switched off the header, so you can still see the header, um, the visualization header, so you can still see these icons here. I switched off the visualization header format option. It wasn't apparent that nothing had changed in Power BI Desktop. However, now within, I've published it up to the Power BI service, and now you can see a hover above here and nothing happens. Okay, so it's only enabled and only visible that particular option once you actually publish it up to the service. Now this one underneath, we um, we disabled, um, ah, okay, well, we disabled the option to, the mode options, and we disabled focus mode. So we can still see pin to visual, we can still see copy this image and we can still see the filter. So you can actually select either to remove the whole um, visualization header or to remove certain aspects of it, certain buttons. 
Now the other thing we did, if we look at the before, is when we clicked on here, this pulled the this block of um, a block of color to the front, and it covered and exposed the uh, covered all the the visuals that were underneath it. So in this one here, we ticked the maintain layer order, and now when I click on here, nothing happens. It stays behind the visualizations because we put it. We made sure this was at the back. We set that using the the options in um, in in Power BI Desktop, and it's maintaining that, it's not pulling it to the front. So hopefully just a quick tip here, pretty short video, and um, if you've been scratching your head and thinking, why are these options shown on Power BI Desktop, I select them, but nothing seems to happen because you're testing it in Power BI Desktop. Now I don't know if there's any other ones, I'll have a little look around if there is any, I'll make another video, but if you do come across something for you, you're, you're selecting an option, it doesn't seem to make any difference, publish it to the desktop, um, to the Power BI service, and to see if it um, it's it's only apparent once it's actually published um, up to this um, website. So hopefully you'll find that useful. If you do, then um, please give it a thumbs up. That's always really helpful for me. And also, if you want to subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with the latest videos, then press the subscribe button and the wee bell to get a notification every time I release a video, which is about once a once a week. Um, finally, if you want to build this dashboard, then Check the link below. I've got a free course that talks you through how you actually build this dashboard. It's um, it's a, qu a quick start course. takes about an hour and a half and um, gives you a really good start and um, a really good launch pad for learning Power BI if you're new to Power BI. Thanks again for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.